Hi, are you a home stringer that strings for a few friends? Or do you run your own business or possibly string at a club for a steady clientele? If you string at home for yourself and a few friends, do you use the racket label that comes with a set of strings? Well, if you do, it's a nice easy way to keep track of your string jobs and to help remind you when you last strung your racket. On the other hand, if you're in the business of stringing for a clientele, do you have your own custom racket labels? If you don't, in this video, I'll share with you why you might want to consider creating your own next level racket labels. All right, let's get into it. Let me tell you from the start, a good label maker is an investment and will cost you about $400, but in my opinion, worth every penny of it. I see it more of a business expense that has many benefits and once you get one, it's hard to be without one. All right, so this label maker is a PC label maker. And you might be thinking, what makes this $400 commercial label maker a must have for a professional stringing business? Well, here are five reasons why a PC label maker can bring your racket labels to the next level. Uh, the first reason is that you can design your own labels by inserting your uh, logo, which is really nice, or any graphics that you want to put into your racket labels. Uh, the second reason is that it's a, a quality laminated uh, label that can stand up to harsh environments. So um, I have one here. Uh, the third reason is that it actually can be removed quite easily without leaving any kind of residue. And if you're using those paper labels, you know that uh, that's sometimes um, leaving all kinds of residue on there. So you can see it just comes off really easily there. Uh, the fourth reason is that you have a lot of colors to choose from. So I have here a bunch of colors that I like to either match the racket or just make it fun to uh, have different color uh, choices. And the fifth reason is that there's actually various uh, widths that you can get. So you can use this for other applications uh, if you want to label uh, other things. So those are five reasons why a PC label maker will help bring your racket labels to the next level. All right, so now that you know I'm using a PC label maker, uh, let me talk about the actual model. And I'm, I'm using the Brother PT900W, and I'll leave a link down below, but it's retailing for $395. I also recently saw a pretty unique racket label in the Racket Sports Industry Magazine. And I reached out to a colleague at USRSA, Sam Chan. He's down in Australia and a pro uh, tournament stringer. And uh, asked him what model he uses. And he's also using a brother model PT2430PC. And uh, the retail value on that one is about $406. And I'll leave the link down below so you can check that out. Brother versus other. When I first used my label maker, I was only purchasing Brother brand uh, cartridges, but I found out that on Amazon, you can get other brands that are a lot cheaper. The size that I use is this uh, 12 millimeter or 0 0.47 inches, which is about a half inch in width. And uh, I'll leave a list and a link of other brands that you can get that's a lot cheaper. I have six creative tips on how you can use your PC label maker. The first one is adding a personal touch. Now, uh, you'll see on this racket label here, it, um, I made up this name, uh, it would be the customer's name. When I first made my labels, I would have here Strong By, Albert Murata, uh, MRT. But um, what I found is that if I put the customer, when I put the customer's name here, and especially if it's a first time client and I point it out, uh, you'll be surprised how impressed they are and how special they feel because it's almost as if it was a custom racket made for them, just like a pro's racket. Uh, other things I have on my label here is the date. I have the tension. Now this uh, reference is a power rating that I get from my Babylon RDC that I keep on file. And then I have a, a, a restring date by. So it's just based on what I know of the uh, customer and how often they play and what type of player they are. 
Uh, these other two labels down here. So this is the one that I would replace every time I string their racket. This next label down here is a spec label. So when their uh, racket comes into me for the first time, I'll typically take all the specs. So uh, I'll have the date when I first strung their racket. Uh, I have a number here because each racket is numbered and I also put that in my uh, file. Uh, the weight, the stiffness, and the swing weight. Now, if I have a client that wants their racket customized, then I would use this label. And you notice that on the top here, it says the specifications for uh, the particular player. And then um, again, I'll put the date, I'll put the racket number, uh, the weight um, as um, the new spec, and of course the stiffness and the swing weight. I also have a couple of labels here in uh, white. And I typically would use white when I'm stringing at a pro tournament because the white is the cheapest label you can get and they're gonna be ripped off every time they come back for stringing. So I would have the, um, the pro's name here. Uh, similarly, I would have the date, but I would actually put in the time. I actually uh, got this idea from the Wilson stringing team. I noticed that they started putting time. So I'll typically um, enter the time that I strung the racket. I started stringing the racket. And this number is, um, the, I have a, um, a work order form that I number the rackets as they come in. So this is a, a kind of a reference number. And then this is the uh, tension right here. Uh, this bottom label is a matching label that goes onto their uh, bag uh, that the racket is wrapped in or um, is labeled. So I would have the matching number of the racket that I strung on their bag and then also the uh, tension that they wanted. The second tip I have is to use it as an ID for, especially for junior racket. So here's a label that I would typically make for a junior player and it would have their name and then their uh, parents' phone number. So you know how kids are, uh, they'll leave their racket lying around sometimes. So this is very helpful to have the name and the phone number of the uh, parent. Here's a fun idea for number three positive affirmation. So here's a racket label that I made for one of my juniors and a saying that I use pretty often. So this would be helpful for juniors and come to think of it, probably for some adults. Number four is other applications. Do you have any memorabilia that you want labeled? Or you might have an autograph poster or program that you wanna make sure that you don't forget who signed it for you. Number five is color coding. Now, if you get various colors of the tape, this is a great way to use them. So earlier I mentioned that on each racket that I have a label here and it, it is numbered. But in addition to that, I'll, uh, for customers that have multiple rackets, I'll use different colors on their rackets so they can identify their rackets at a glance. And I did another video called Backup Secret Weapon Racket. And that's a great time to use uh, a different color label on your different rackets. Speaking about coding, check out this racket label with a QR code at number six. So I saw this racket label in the RSI magazine and Sam Chan is the one that posted it. He's a pro tournament stringer out of Australia and that QR code goes right to his website. So I thought this was a pretty original idea. Here's a collage of some racket labels I peeled off of some rackets at various professional tournaments. If you see your racket label, I'd like to hear from you, so make sure to comment down below. I hope this video will provide you some ideas and inspiration for you to get creative and to personalize your racket labels to the next level. Thanks for watching, happy stringing, and let your strings play.